Hello, pointers. So I want to get you started on your next assignment, which is to make a pinch pot animal. So what you're going to be doing is starting with your basic pinch pot. And you're going to make that pinch pot according to the demonstration I did in the first video, how to make a pinch pot. So once you make your pinch pot, and I should say, you're going to start with a ball of clay about the size of the palm of your hand. Same size. If you want to go a little bigger, that's fine, but nothing huge. And you're going to go ahead and pinch that out until you get your basic pinch pot. And again, we're trying to make the pinch pot about the thickness of a pencil. And it should be, feel nice and even that you pinch the clay out evenly. At that point, you're going to try and determine what type of animal you would like to make. So you can be thinking about that and perhaps looking for a few pictures on Google, Google Images or wherever you might like. Um, and find some pictures so that you have details of your animal to look at so you can add the different features to it. I tend to go and find pictures and I'll print them out and my animal may not end up look, looking realistic but I use it just for the details. And that helps out in terms of features and what things might look like in terms of designing my project. So I've got a couple here to show you. And you can, first of all, take the pinch pot and you can do it so it's standing up. You can do it so it's laying down. You could even turn it upside down. At this point, it's for the most part decoration and for fun and creativity. It doesn't necessarily have to serve a function and sit a particular way. So whatever you choose for your animal, that will hopefully help you determine how you're going to um, shape and how you're going to sit the pinch pot. So this is the first one I did uh, about four years ago when I started having students do this assignment. And it's supposed to be a fish. And it's kind of fun and whimsical. So I took the basic pinch pot and once it was finished, then I went ahead and laid the pinch pot on its side. And from there, I just took some extra clay and I flipped it back and forth and I cut out some slabs and I pinched them and shaped them. And then I added the tail and I added the fins and I added the eyes. Um, I used a quarter to just press in halfway and it created what looked like scales. Now, I know a fish doesn't have a tongue, but I thought I would just be fun and whimsical with it. And I went ahead and just put a tongue in there. So it does have some nice details and you get the idea that it's some sort of a fish, but it, hopefully it's also kind of fun and crazy. Um, you could use this for whatever you want. You could put candies in here, maybe paper clips, um, whatever you might want to use it for, or it could just sit on a shelf and be decorative and look fun. Um, the second one that I did was this one here and it is supposed to be a walrus. So same idea, made the pinch pot first I didn't flatten out the bottom on this one. I just tried to keep pinching it and leave it rounded um, so that it didn't look just cut off in the back. Um, and then I made, again, made slabs, made the different things that I needed to pinch and shape and add on to try and make it somewhat look like a little form of a walrus. And again, it's just to be kind of fun and uh, be creative and see what you can come up with. So there's that one as well. And then uh, a couple years ago, I took the pinch pot and I decided to try and shape it into a bird. So when you get your pinch pot made, if you need to change the shape, such as this one, you can just squeeze it in and you can shape it. Then you can just use your fingers or a sponge and you can just start to pinch and smooth it and alter the shape of your pinch pot to whatever shape you need it to be. Um, to fit the animal that you're going to make. So on this one, um, like I said, I pinched it in in the back, I pulled it along here with my fingers with a little water on it, and once I got that shape, I used some extra clay and I made the head, and then I crosshatched and slipped the head on, and then just uh, blended it down in so it looked like it was all one piece of clay. And then for the wings, I just flipped back and forth my clay and made a really thin slab, used the rolling pin on it, and then I just cut out the shape I wanted and cross-hatched and slipped these onto it. Um, and then I just really spent time sponging and trying to shape it so it would look kind of all natural. Um, I did put some holes in the bottom of it. My thought was that it might be kind of cool to put a plant or a succulent down inside. Um, and so that may be what I'll do with it still. Um, you can see the holes go through the bottom. So it can be something that's functional 
or it could be something just decorative and purely for fun. So that's another option. And then last year, I used a little bit larger pinch pot and I decided I would try and make the head of a dog. I had seen this picture and uh, I really liked the face and the ears and so forth. So it doesn't look exactly like it, but I was using it just to get the shape and the idea of the form of the ears and the tongue and uh, how it curls and so forth. And so again, it was your basic pinch pot and I laid it on its side and then I went ahead and made the other features with some extra clay. Just pinching, shaping, molding, and then going ahead and cross hatching and slipping them on and then blending them in real well and sponging and smoothing so that it would look natural. So um, you can see the bottom is flat on this one. Maybe could have rounded it more. Just doesn't quite matter, but um, sometimes you have afterthoughts after you see it all finished. But at this point, um, the way, again, you're gonna start is make your basic pinch pot first and then um, do a search um, for pictures of the animal that you wanna do, look at the features, and then go ahead and just start little by little altering the shape of your pinch pot if you need to and adding those features. Um, just want it to be a fun assignment. We'll probably spend about a week to a week and a half on it. I think that should give you plenty of time. If we really need a few more days, we might go as much as two weeks. Um, but if you have finished your first pinch pot, you can start right in on your second one, which is going to be your pinch pot animal. Okay, we'll see you next time.